Welcome to This Week in Wise Stories, where I was gone the last week because it was Spring Fest. I still have to upload the Spring Fest video, and I have not done that yet because I am lazy. That is literally the only reason. I have been busy with other things, and when I finish those things, I'm like, I don't want to work on any more computer stuff. So again, thank you all to who went to Spring Fest and said what's up, and all the folks who went to Play Live Nation, the event that we had where we live streamed everything, and said hello, and that allowed me to stream their matches. From the usual suspects to the new people who were there, again, thank you. And if my voice is a little hoarse, it is because I've been doing a lot of talking. So we do have two weeks worth of news to cover, so let's just jump into it super quickly. Bushy Road On The Road is a collection of conventions that Bushy Road will be attending in the year of 2022. They're going to five different anime conventions and they are going to be promoting Bang Dream, Y Shores, and Vanguard. Those being Anime Central, Anime Expo, Anime Weekend Atlanta, Anime NYC, and Anime Frontier. They will be selling Bang Dream products as well as Y Shores trial decks of Hollow Life production as well as some booster boxes. For the sake of us Y Shores players, there's going to be a stamp rally where you do some things and you get a PR card of Captain Shioko and some egg thing with eyes. There's also a TCG demo area where you are shown how to play the game and you get a special PR card of Korone. As of now, there is a special PR card campaign only in Anime Central where you take a picture of some stands, post it on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, but you know, no one really uses that, and you get some PR cards depending on the day. Now, I am sure that they're going to be at other conventions as well, but as of now, only Anime Central is listed. Yes, the Aya is wrong. No, they haven't fixed it yet. Like I've mentioned, it is nice to see that Bushy Road is getting a lot larger and they're trying to take more risks and this is a really good way for promotion. Now, I am going to be at Anime Expo being a goblin, so if you're there, say hello. And of course, I'm going to pretend not to know what Y Shores is so I could get a Corona PR card. If you need temporary employment, Bushy Road is recruiting event staff for Anime Central. This is the anime convention that is going to be in Illinois. They did it. Those madman finally did it. We're going to have the very first tournament store title cup. The Hololive Production Title Cup are special tournaments that game stores can hold. Each entry is going to include a special Title Cup PR pack that is going to feature one of the climaxes featured in Hololive Production. The winner will take home three extra PR packs, as well as any other store prizing. Now the cards are overframe rare and they are full hollow. Alright, we're gonna have to take this from the very top for the newer viewers. So a title cup are special tournaments that are held in Japan where you can only enter using a single series. There are title cups and then there are special restriction title cups such as the Band Leagues or the Quince Cups. There was a side event in the last Kara Expo called the Band League which was a Band League. That was the only instance of a sanctioned Bushy Road title cup. I've been saying for a while that I think title cups in English would be smart, and it does look like they were kicking around the idea, especially with the 7 Deadly Sins remote fight title cup. So now, the PR cards in the PR pack. There was an event called the Hollow Production Card Game Festival, which is not the Super Expo. Those are two separate events. It was a large-scale title cup tournament where you can enter using only Hollow Life Production. And when you enter, you get this PR pack. When Bushy Road started doing tournament PR packs and shop PR packs, my mind went straight to this. They have the infrastructure in place, and Hollow Life Production is such a huge money maker that it wouldn't be surprised if they brought these over. Over as just PR packs but I was not expecting a pure title cup so this does raise some concerns and it's mostly on the game stores official game stores need to really have their shit together for these title cups to go well and I'm sure that my locals uh, table salt games play live nation envy max and anahana I'm sure those will be fine the TOs are great and they generally have amazing turnouts as well my concern are for game stores that are kind of blasé about Y Shores, and my biggest concern is that game stores are going to be cracking these open and not handing them out to players. Because, you know, game stores did that with the Mushoku Tensei PR packs. And they posted it on social media. If a game store does not run Y Shores events or they don't feel comfortable running a single title event, because, again... That is a little risky. They could just hand them out with products being purchased, but the rules specifically say that a winner of the title cup gets three extra PR packs, so they're gonna have to work something out there. So, yeah, there are scummy game stores out there. 
Hopefully the one in your area is not one of them. The last piece of English news is the Bushy Road English Conference was on Friday, April 8th. Let me just say the production value really went up. That is great. We are going to skip around, but just as a reminder that the FGO Camelot and Danmachi sets are coming out fairly soon. And they are going to have PR packs, which Bushy Road is really going all out with these PR packs. Hey, wait a minute, where's the Hestia Foot PR card? We were also shown some TDSBs from the trial decks of Attack on Titan Final Season. Those are trait locked. Yeah, these cards are uh, not going to work with the previous cards. But we are going to have to wait and see when we get the Aarons, the Armins, and the Mikasas. And just so we can see how trait locked this set is. Because um, as of now, these cards will not work with the previous cards. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. And for the English reveals, Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl is coming to English Y Shores. It's been two years. This set's already proud crept out. Like we don't have no, we like we don't have a need for this set anymore. Um, this is mainly just for the collectors and fans of the series. And on top of this, they're also reprinting Bunny Girl Senpai Volume One. Yeah, there's really no need for this. I'm still building a Futaba Rio deck though. And lastly, Seven Deadly Sins Revival of the Commandants is also coming to English Y Shores as an English exclusive set. So that is nice. An English original is actually getting more support, and that is what I wanted to see. The show is super fucking mid, and it's only popular because it's one of the first Netflix exclusive animes. But regardless, I wanted to see the English exclusives getting more support. Here we are. Very nice. On the official Y Shores website, under the English announcement, they stated that there is going to be one more set announced at a later date. Please be the International Hollow Live. Overall, it was an English conference. It's, it's meh. They are getting better at them, and I would love to see more of these. So keep up the good work, Bushy Road. And now we're going over to the Japanese side of Y Shores. We have the art of the SEC cars in Idol Master Million Live. As mentioned in a previous episode of This Week in Y Shores, their dresses have a Y Shores motif to them. As you can see on their side, there is the little Weiss logo. Very nice. The May issue of the Bushy Road magazine is going to have two different covers. There is the Trading Card Game Festival cover and the Shadowverse Evolve cover. Inside, you get this nice little poster of May Dragon and Kagi Nado. And for the PR cards, you get Trial of Light for Shadowverse Evolve, the voice actor card collection of Amanesu in a maid outfit, And also an overframe rare of the May Dragon Climax from the Trial Deck. They both share the same name. And speaking of Dragon Maid, this set is currently out, so let's look at those signed cards. Now, as you can tell, these are not signed by the voice actresses because this is not an anime set. This is a manga set. The card art is using art drawn from the manga, but there is also some exclusive art drawn from the mangaka named Kuo Kyo Shinja. Said it right this time, I think. As such, the signed cards are signed by the author and the artist, not the VAs. So remember that if you're hunting for the SPs, you aren't getting Yuki's signature. And because of donation from viewers as well as the YouTube member support, I was able to purchase a box of Maid Dragon, so expect that on the channel. Thank you all. I will be building a Maid Dragon deck though. I'm gonna be, tr I'm gonna try to work one out. And that is where we're gonna end today's video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more White Shores news and content. Thank you all to my channel members and thank you all to all the new channel members who joined because of the play live stream. And I really, I really, really do appreciate it. Take care, everyone, and I will see you all next month because I'm going to the UK for holiday. So I won't be uploading any Y Shores like news videos. So the Clock Tower, 3 6 Cancel, Stock Stop Games, Envy Max, y'all gotta work double time for me. Again, thank you all. See y'all next month.